We talked about uh, cone sizing, how many revolutions uh, you're going to put of ice, of the soft serve you're going to put on your cone. So once you establish that, you also need to have the same type of, of a, uh, sizing in a cup. So if our small is two and a half revolutions in a cone, I'm going to put two and a half revolutions in a cup. One, two. Now when we do a cup, the reason it's flared out, so you can see it's kind of flared out on the sides, is to allow room for toppings. To allow room whether I'm putting uh, jimmies or sprinkles on there, whether I'm drizzling a nice sauce. As you can see, I have room. I don't want to make the ice cream or the soft serve the diameter of the cup. I still want to imagine I can lift this up and put it right on the cone, right? I can even make it to, to what I train people, actually make it on the bottom of the cup so they can see. That is the line I should be following, right? Um, you see you have a nice little pyramid here. If I could take this and flip it and put it in the cup, this is what I would end up with, right? That gives me room to put my toppings on there. So if I am putting toppings, they're not drizzling all over the cup. And it also helps your portion control, okay? The keys to this business, to making money in the ice cream business, is portion control and consistency, right? So when we te teach your employees how to make these products, Look, there's habits that they're going to form, and it's our job to help them form the right habits off the jump. Now, because I have all this room, if I'm gonna put sprinkles in there, I can kind of roll this around, fill this up pretty good, and I have a nice vanilla cup of rainbow sprinkles.